Travel Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, lovey subbies. Does it look a little different to you? Okay, okay. I'm trying something super, super new. I switched um, the room, part of the doll room around that I do filming in. How do you guys like it? Is it, do you like it? Is it okay? Am I too far away from the camera? I kind of like how it's a little bit more roomier this way. And I, you know, like I said, I did some moving around, did some, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm going to show you guys what I did. Now I have the dream house here. I put, um, yeah, I just switched everything around. The only thing I'm not digging is this blank space I got here. I think I'm going to hang some pictures on here. That'll make it look nice, a little better. And then I'm going to put uh, some stuff right here too. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Anywho, how was your weekend? Did you have a lot of fun? What did you do? Did you move stuff around too? I'm telling you, moving around your collection is really, really hard work. And I still have to do the bigger part of the room out there, which is kind of messy. Um, but it'll come together. Anywho, I went and I paid my last visit to Toys R Us, which was super, super sad. Um, I posted some pictures on my Instagram. I did my last haul there. Um, I didn't think I was really, really going to miss it as much because it didn't sink in before that it was really, really gone. It was going to be gone. Um, and I would, I'm, I'm still, I'm super, super sad for all the people that are going to be out of work. I had a conversation with one of the wonderful uh, Toys R Us employees there, and she couldn't believe that Toys R Us wasn't going to be there anymore. And she was very, very happy despite, you know, her situation. And I love that. It was really, really, really nice. And, um... I don't know. It was it was sad. It was like really sad, you know, because I was a Toys R Us kid. My mother was a Toys R Us kid. And anytime you needed to find a toy you couldn't find anywhere else, you would go to Toys R Us and there it would be. I remember getting um, rewarded for, you know, good grades, good behavior. You know, I didn't want a um, allowance. I just asked my parents to pay me in Toys R Us things and toys from Toys R Us. Um, so yeah, so I did that. So I went a little crazy with my final haul. I'm going to share it with you guys. Please don't judge. <laughs> I think, um, sadness and sadness and the fabulousness of finding toys half off just got to me, but I did, did only buy stuff that I, I really, really wanted. I didn't buy no unnecessary purchases. I actually had a lot of those and then I just put them back. Sometimes it's good to do that. You put stuff in your cart and then you, you know, examine, do I really, really need this? Do I really, really want this in my collection? I don't really collect this. It's cute. It's adorable. I'll leave it here for somebody else is what I d ended up doing on a lot of things. And I'm super, super happy because if I would have brought it home, I would have been like, crazy with why did you buy this why did you buy this anyway and then I um went to Walmart and went to Target got a couple things there I went to Target and um I went shopping with mom bought stuff that I needed grown-up stuff she was buying her grown-up stuff but I did find one thing there that I've been looking for since last year and I found it and I just could not resist getting it um and then I went to Walmart <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up getting something there as well. I just was, I think I was shopping through grief that Toys R Us is going out of, it's kind of, it's sad. I'm not even gonna lie. It's sad. I got the feels I did while I was in there. Um, but anyway, it is Magical Monday. I'm talking your guys' head off through this whole video. I hope you don't mind. I just did a lot this weekend. Um, but I wanted to share something that uh, a little different today. Well, it is Disney related and um, stuff that I kind of do sometimes. I mean, it's not really a big deal, but maybe some of you guys do it just to switch up the Disney princesses in your collection or do something a little different to them. So I'm going to start with my animator Rapunzel doll. Um, look at her. 
I put lashes on her. Don't you guys love her with lashes? I just wanted for the longest time to put lashes on this beautiful, beautiful doll. And back in the day, I used to put lashes on my um, Disney princesses and my Barbies. Um, just a few, not too much. And I haven't done it and I'd say, Lord, a decade. And um, I ended up getting this girl at uh, California Adventure the last time I went to um, the Disneyland Resort. And I thought she was really, really adorable, but I didn't like the nightgown that she came with. So I remembered that I had some random Rapunzel doll outfit. I don't even know where it came from <laughs> in some of my doll clothes. And so just by chance, I brought her home. I took her out of the box. I think I shared her on the channel. I can't remember, guys. And I ended up... Um, taking the nightgown she had on and putting this outfit on her and it fit her perfectly and then I of course left little Pascal with her because that is her bestie and I left her hair in its original style pulled to the side although I found these really cool Japanese hair uh ties at um Daiso Japan I love Daiso Japan check it out guys it is great they got some really good stuff you could use for your dolls and for yourself. And then I put these barrettes on the side. They have like little faux pearls in them and they're flowers and they're fabric. And I thought it made her super, super different. And she's still barefoot, of course, because that's Rapunzel. And I really, really love the eyes. I took um, some eyelashes for grown folks and I glued them on her eyes. And let me tell you, I hadn't done it in so long. I thought that it would be really, really easy to put them on Rapunzel because of her size. Ugh, it was hard business. <laughs> but I got them on and I like the end result. So I did switch her up. This is a, the current animator doll. Uh, you could get her at Toys R Us, Shop Disney, or at, at Disney Parks. And I think she's cute. What do you guys think? Do you like the switch up? I know it's not a huge deal, but I really, really love her. So that's Rapunzel. And so I took Rapunzel's nightgown and I put it on this little girl because I thought it fit her better, just in my opinion. Um, and I thought it was cute. So here she is. This beautiful Ariel doll, this animator doll that I found at Goodwill, I think a couple years back. Her hair was a matted mess and I fixed it, made it all nice and shiny. I put lashes on her. Don't she look adorable with these lashes on? Look at how cute, you guys. And I wanted this doll to look like... Um, you know, the scene where Ariel is spending the night in Prince Eric's cabin. A cabin. <laughs> Prince Eric doesn't have a cabin. Maybe he does, but they didn't show it in The Little Mermaid. In his pa in his castle, um, when she's in, the, in her room in the nightgown with um, Sebastian, I thought this was perfect. Now, it's not as pink as her costume in the movie, but I thought it suited her much better than it did Rapunzel. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to use that animator doll. What's all this hair? <laughs> Bloopers. Um, I'm going to put this animator doll in this outfit. And I'm going to put the lashes on her. Because I didn't know what I was going to do with her. I just fixed her hair up. And she's been in my fix-up box forever. And then when I seen the um, nightgown, I said, oh, perfect. I can make my own Ariel doll from... Uh, when she's spending the night in Prince Eric's castle. Love it! So what do you guys think? Do you think she's adorable? Do you think it works? Um, what do you guys, do you guys ever do anything like this? I know some of you guys are super, super talented. And you guys would have took these girls way much further than I did. But, um, I don't know. I think I did a good job with them. It's not totally bad. Don't they look good with lashes and the little outfit switch-ups? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And do you do any kind of, what do you call it? Um, it's not remodeling. What is it? Do you like do any kind of one of a kind stuff to your dolls to make them different than everybody else's? But not to be like snobby, you know, but like artistically. So um, let me know, guys. I'd love to hear from you. And um, this was 
fun, a fun little project, and I plan to do it again. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today. Wow, this is a super, super long video. I hope you guys do not get bored with it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we got a really great week today. I'm going to show you my final Toys R Us toy haul and show you what I did to this room, switched it around and all that bit. So thank you guys so much. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. So be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous Disney princess with eyelashes world, <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday's to toy haul show. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>